Where's it go? Well, five deer just took off that way. Finn doesn't know what to do. There he is. There's the boy. <laughs> We're just uh, following deer trails this afternoon. Early December, gorgeous day. But uh, I'm going to set up shop soon and uh, have a coffee and. Uh, I got a little project today that we're going to work on, so give me a few and uh, we'll get set up for coffee. Ducks? You see the ducks? Hey? You got in there, didn't you, boy? Me too. Yeah. Get out of there. Come on. This looks like a good spot. Lots of dead stuff. This all within reach. What is that? Boy, we got into some good mud, didn't we? He's gonna make a mess in the truck. But anyway. We got a little fire going here, make a coffee, and then make our little project. Of course, we got the old bushcraft essentials. Alright, a roll. I'm going to cheat today. I'm going to throw a cotton ball in the bottom and get her going. That sounds like a boil. That is a boil. Okay. People ask me uh, if this is some kind of a cowboy coffee hybrid or whatever I do, but no, I just basically boil the water, take it off the fire, not like last time, <laughs> Put her in there and just let it brew on its own. Eventually all the grinds will sink down and you're good to go. So while that uh, brews up, I need a couple sticks. What I'm looking for is what finger thickness, which this is, and I need a couple pieces, probably no more than 16 inches, so I think this uh, this one will do just fine. Oh, it's not gone punky. No, it's good. So, I'm going to take... Uh, that's one piece. Then I need just a little... A thinner piece. Like this. We'll take it the same... Roughly the same size. So we got one about 16 inches. A little thinner one, you know, a foot long. And I need one, one more little piece of something. That I can take a little bit of a wider piece out of, so. 
right. I'm gonna take that over. I'm just gonna try and baton a little uh, quarter inch slice out of that. The old classic Mora. Let's see if we can. Uh, there's a crack there existing, so we'll split it there first. All right. So all I want is a little, just a little sliver. That might be it, right there. Okay. And even from this, we only need about that much. So I'll just flatten this out. And then we'll cut that off too. And clean her up. There. This isn't rocket science. It's no big deal. So just thin her up and flatten her out. That'll work. Well, I found my coffee back at the creek. I'm right back through that mud hole again. <laughs> so I just packed up everything and brought it over. So she looks good. It's good and strong. You can see there's no there's no floaties. They're all sitting on the bottom. So as long as you don't stir it up again, you won't get any uh, grinds until the very bottom. But anyway. What we're making has many, many different names. There's a, what is it, the he, he, he ha, the whimsy stick, the whimmy doodle, the magical uh, lie detector, all these different names, but I'll, uh, I'll write them all down. But as far as this little guy here goes, this is just the wand. So. It does not have to look like anything, so we're just going to take the bark off it, roughly. You can do this all fancy at home. I've made these at home for the kids with just uh, like dimensional lumber, like pine and stuff, so you can do whatever you want. for the one piece. Just uh, clean the bark off. I left the bark on because this is this is how I'm going to hold it. All right. So that piece is complete. Okay. So on to our main our main stick here. I want a nice straight cut on that. So that's a little bit crooked. I'm going to have to clean that up. Make her straight. better. All right, and the same deal. These little little tits on here. I'm just going to take the bark off from there up. Basically just leaving the bark on a, on a hand on a hand hold. You don't have to get too fancy. It's just uh, just taking the bark off. like that. And then we'll take our marker. Let's just uh, draw a nice line, nice straight line. And then roughly start about three inches in and just kind of eyeball a half inch every half an inch or so. Just put a little tick. This is just for your own visual. 
Okay, roughly like that, see a little half inch. All right. So, on that, so in between, let's say center of your half inch, put a nice eighth inch deep stop cut. So, see that? Mark, mark, right in the center, half inch straight in. So, I'll do that all the way down here. Just a, just a good stop cut in between your two marker lines, okay? We'll do that all the way down. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so eight, eight is good. Eight or nine, ten or twelve, doesn't matter, but I think I normally do about eight. So I'm just making stop cuts all the way down in between in between my lines, okay? So then on my lines, I'm going to put my knife on the line and come down to that stop cut, just like that. Okay? I made a little, little cut, so from nothing to the bottom of my stop cut. And we'll do that, go up on every one, same thing. Just go down to the stop cut. Clean her out. Always cutting away from yourself. Always cut toward your chums, not your thumbs. And for you that are younger, chums is the old word for friends. Those you chum around with. So cut toward your chums, not your thumbs, because you can always get new chums, but you can't get new thumbs. All right. So if you can see that. See how that is? Alright, now let's just do the opposite way. From the other way, come from that line and go down to the stop cut the other way. Yeah. This can be as neat as you want it, but it's not, uh, it doesn't have to be, you're not making furniture, you're making a silly little stick. So now you can see that. See how that works? Okay. So, I just like to go all the way one way. And then, uh, all the way the other way. And you've got your, your ridges. So, I'm going to do this all the way down by going one way to my stop cut. And then I'm just going to turn around and go back the other way. I'll do two more and then I'll just finish it on my own. All right. Okay. All right, so there you go. Alright, so there's our, our notches. I'm just going to take all this marker off of here. Make it look nice. But that's basically it. See that? I've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 points on there. So, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, it's good to. Uh, Good carving practice. Gives you some knife control. That's basically it. So now we're going to work on uh, this piece. So at this stage, we have our, our little wand piece, our little uh, raised point piece, and our little what is to be a propeller. All right. So this is our little uh, propeller piece. I would have preferred to have it just a little bit thinner, but we'll see if it works. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we want to try and find a halfway, and we can always uh, change it up after. But that's, we got to drill a little hole through there. 
I got my little awl on my little bush crafter, but uh, you can take a little drill bit too. I'm just going to drill a little hole through the center of that. That's that side. Not very clean. Drill bit's a little bit cleaner. But what you want to do now, where is it? I have this little matchbook, and uh, depending on your size of hole, I have, uh, you can use like little uh, sewing pins. Little ring nails, little R docks, but I'm hoping that this nail here is a good one. We don't really like the R docks because they have the spiral on them. The less friction, the better, but that may be, uh, yeah, that one's too small, so we're going to go with the ring nail. We'll clean that out, make it maybe a little bit bigger. I'm going to smooth out that hole so that spins and then we want to make sure that it's even. Alright, so I'm going to clean out that hole again so it spins really freely. Get fancy and take the corners off if you want. The main thing. Is that's going to spin for you. Alright. So you see that? You see how it went back the one way? So that's this this end is heavier. So I'm gonna trim a little bit off of this end just to get a balance. We'll just keep doing that until we got a nice balanced propeller. And a neater looking cut. That's awful. Eh, not bad. So now we're going to find uh, the center, which in this case the pith is perfect. And we're going to take our little uh, little propeller here, and we don't really want it to go tight. We want a nice, good space to allow it to to spin. See that? Okay, that's uh, there's our our toy. So now we gotta test it. Oh, look at that! Now I'll show you the real secret to this. Okay, so there we go. It's spinning away. But now. With the, all I have to do is say hee-haw or hooey and I can make it go the other direction. See that? This way. This way. So the trick is you say <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> I feel like a fool. Okay. You're supposed to go then go Hee-haw! And that changes direction. And then you say, hee-haw again, it goes the other way. And hee-haw again. Or it's a lie detector, and you say, uh, am I your best friend? And then you say yes. And then I say, oh, it says no, because it goes the other way. It changes direction. Go one way, go the other way. 
one way, the other way. There's some kind of vibrational physics going on, but I'll show you the, the trick. So here's the trick. When I'm doing this, this index finger, or whatever you call it, forefinger, is rubbing on the side of the stick, okay? Just like that. And that makes the propeller go, okay? But when I change direction, what I'm doing is I'm turning it a little bit and putting my thumb against this side. See that? And that goes the other way. All right? So if I go this way, it goes that way. And if I put my thumb against it and raise this finger without you seeing it, it'll go the other way. All right? Am I your favorite person in the whole world? Oh. I know, it's silly. That's kind of a fun little project. Good carving practice, something to show your kids. And uh, I'll go home and drive my family nuts with it. So, thanks for watching. And uh, it's hard not to play with. See you next time. Olivia. You have a boyfriend? No. Ah! Ah! Owen? Yeah. Is there a girl in your class that you love? No. How do you do that? Oh my goodness! No, but how do you make it switch? You made it switch by lying! I didn't. Willow? No. No what? 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 No, what? Is there a boy in your class that you're in love with? No. <laughs> 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 no. You're lying. I'm not. The stick does not lie. <laughs>